right, so uh, Coach, you can go ahead and give an opening statement, and then we'll open up for questions after that. Uh, good win. Just how we liked it. Drew, drew it up perfect. So, uh, you know, we, we obviously wanted to establish ourselves defensively. And, you know, not, not just because it was SC and how we played last time, but just because that's what you got to do this time of year. So our guys came out and with a defensive mindset. And, you know, offensively, you know, we were able to settle into the game when maybe things weren't coming easy. We hung with it. So really proud of them. Okay, we'll open up for questions. We'll start in the uh, back middle here. Yeah, Tommy, Steve Rivera, allsportstucson.com. Uh, Tommy, in the first half, they kind of made you play their style, but you were able to survive it and, in fact, had a 12-point lead, uh, lead. Can you talk about how much you are probably impressed with that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a game, you know, and these games play out different. You know, you can't, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm joking when I say it's just how we drew it up. I mean, you can't script it. And, and so, you know, we, we knew that they may not want to get up and down with us, but you always want to test that, you know. I mean, you know, a coach can have a game plan, and the players maybe don't execute it defensively on their end, and we, we get up and down in transition. And they did a good job keeping the game slower, and, but, and, but it came down to defense. I mean, we were able to get stops, 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 and then kind of made a little run at the end of the, the first half to get a little separation. And then these guys did a great job uh, at the start of the second half to extend that. Front row on the right, Brad. Uh, yeah, Jaden and uh, KJ combining for 27 points off the bench. I know there's been a lot of talk this year about the importance of the bench and, and the minutes that they provide, but for them to be able to be your leading scorers in this game, uh, what does that say about just the overall balance? Well, it's awesome. And, and you know, they both responded because they didn't play good at SC. Um, and, and I'm really proud of how they responded, and especially, you know, when, when a game like that where a team's switching defenses, playing a lot of zone, you know, maybe they're not players you think traditionally would play good against the zone, but they were opportunistic. You know, you find some in transition, you find some late in the possession, you know, you find some on the offensive glass. I thought KJ in that, in that second half really made a statement, you know. Pella unfortunately picked up his third foul, and KJ came in there and made like, like three or four plays right in a row to, 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 to basically help us grow the lead, which, which was amazing. Second one here on the left. Yeah, Tommy, Ray, uh, Raymundo Cervantes with Camp Student Radio. You said you guys were given a gift uh, by SC after the loss last week. What were the conversations like with the team throughout the week and last night after seeing that they were going to be your opponents uh, today? Well, I mean, we, we were excited. I mean, these guys, you know, they, 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 they're more excited than I am, you know, because I have a coach's mind and you're always, you know, you're always trying to analyze everything. These guys were ready to go. And, you know, they did give us a gift. You know, late in the year, you know, we were playing pretty good. We had wrapped up the Pac-12 championship, and maybe we let our guard down a little bit and got exposed, and, and our guys, you know, battled back. So, so it's kind of nice when you can have a, a week of preparation where you're on edge a little bit, and, and, I, and I think we did that. I think it, it, it sets up well. But you know what? Tomorrow, at whatever time we play, you got to be ready to roll because there's nothing that you can't assume anything. Far right, third row. Hey, Coach. Uh, this is Sean Mahoney, 13 News. Uh, one of the things you talked about after the loss to USC was kind of the trouble that some of that zone defense gave you in that first matchup. This time around, it seemed that you guys handled a lot better. Talk to me about some of the adjustments you guys made and what you think uh, propelled you to the zone. Well, a lot of that falls on my shoulders. You know, when, when I just, you know, kind of took a step back, I just I realized that I haven't provided enough clarity, you know, for, for how we want to attack and how we want to play. And, and you know, I, I was relying on these guys a little bit too much to figure out. So. You know, they're great players, and, and they have a great ability to figure it out. And when they're figuring things out, we're way better than when I'm over coaching. I promise you that. But we just had to kind of put the pieces in the right place and kind of get a, a clear understanding of how we wanted to play. Here in the middle, third row. Uh, Jesse Broaders, Cronkite News. So obviously you guys now are looking for your third straight uh, Pac-12 tournament win. Obviously you've got a few more games to go, but how are you guys taking this game by game in a tournament that means so much as this is the final tournament as we know it? Well. It means so much to people outside of our little sphere, which is great, because those people, we, we draw power from them and energy. But our deal is focusing internal, uh, game by game. And we're not getting any more complicated than that. We'll let you guys, you know, get all sentimental about last Pac-12 stuff, this and that, how many games in a row. I don't care about any of that. I just want to know who we're playing tomorrow. Front row here, Bruce. Yeah. Um, well, Tommy, all three of you guys, actually, you, you talked about the – the uh, the week of practice and getting the stops early. What what else was the difference? And especially early, just because that that game there was, was it a fact of uh, you know having that familiarity from just a few minute, few days ago, or or, or uh, you know motivation, et cetera, a d different energy than you had Saturday. I'll let these guys answer that. <clears throat> I think we just uh, got a lot more stops. Like we were way more hungry on, uh, on defense this time around. 
And I mean, we're obviously a really good offensive team, but it's it's defense that we we take pride in. So uh, I think it was just just that. And then the and, offense will come. And, and what I want to repeat, I, we always we always like try to make an excuse cut for our defense because we're a good offensive team. Guys, two out of the last three years, you've been another one ranked defense in the Pac-12. So do a little research. We're a good defensive team. We're a great defensive team, and we're going to get better. The defense. Yeah, we are more locked in, and we buy in, we buy into the system, and then just uh, play good defense and stick to the plan. In the back, all the way in the back, in the middle. Uh, for both players, uh, Matt Reynolds and KVOA in Tucson. Uh, for both players, this team seems like they attack you in a similar way that they did on Saturday, and you came right back and you know punched them right back in the mouth. That's been a bit of a trend this season where teams think they have Arizona figured out and then they don't in the end. How have you noticed that? How did you guys respond to that today? Um, honestly, you know, when you play a team back to back, of course, you're going to learn from your like uh, previous mistakes. And uh, we took stuff like we took stuff like that, um, like serious. You know, you can do the same mistake over and over again. And, and, and they got us last week, and this week we had a great opportunity to play against them. And, and it was a great test for us to see like, how much uh, we improve and how much you know, we take pride in getting stop over stops. All the way here in the back left. Uh, Luke Evans, Orange County Register. Coach, just, just from, a, back here, just from a, a scouting perspective, it looked like from tip, you guys had a really strong understanding of, of what USC was trying to do with a lot of off-ball action and their guards coming off screens. Obviously, they're perimeter players have played really well recently. So so just from last matchup with them in general, like how did you guys kind of game plan from that specific angle? To You're going to think this is crazy. We didn't do one thing different. We just did it better. That's what it came down to. We just did it better. We didn't, we didn't, this time of year, you're not, you're not changing a bunch. Just, you know, do it better with more effort and more conviction. And we did that. Uh, back middle here. Hi, hey Coach. Uh, ben, Parker. <coughs> ben Parker, CardinalSportsReport.com. I I'm just curious, at, in tournament mode, how do you go about, in these general terms, just how do you go about scouting the opposing teams? How does that work? Do you watch from the both teams at the same time? Or just kind of how does that kind of process work? You've already seen these guys. How do you kind of approach scouting and preparing for games in, in tournament mode? Yeah. Well, twofold. I mean, you've played these guys, these teams already in your own conference, so you have some familiarity uh, with what they do. Uh, and the second thing is you do what you do. You know, you double down on what you do and what you do well, and, and, and you stick to those concepts. I mean, you know, this time of year, you, you've seen almost everything, and, you know, there's a lot of trends where teams are doing similar stuff, you know. So, so, you, so, you, so you have a good fit pr a footprint of what, what you need to do defensively. You just got to go out and do it with great energy and effort. Right. Two more starting here in the front. Uh, Aiden Wool, GoEasyCast.com. Tommy, uh, how would you assess the overall uh, progression of the mat maturity dating back to when the team – well, uh, celebrated after the Pac-12 regular season championship. I mean, we got a real mature group. We got we got a group of winners. We got a group of dogs. You know, but, but we haven't been perfect. But 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 no one has. So um, hey, it, it's about the next one for us. And, the, and these guys are mature and they're winners. And you know, there's no guarantee to what's going to happen. But but I would expect our guys to play with great effort and energy tomorrow. And last one here in the back, Steve. Yeah, Tommy. Uh, Ball does what he does. He did it well today. Did you talk about his energy? He was all all over the court today. Yeah, when, when, when O plays like that, I mean, and, and he has for a long stretch now. I mean, it, it's an absolute difference maker. He's a monster. And, you know, the way he was protecting the rim today, I mean, really, really allows us to play defense a certain way, the, the way he was rebounding the basketball. You know, and then, you know, the way he was getting fouled and just his physical presence inside, he's a game changer. So really proud of him, and, and I love that he's doing it on a nightly basis now. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you.